Hi guys, welcome to Market Studios. Today we will be doing something from my current study, Junebug Illustrations, which is a art style exploration and me trying to find my unique point of view by through the study of bugs, insects, and historical costumes, as well as portraits from people around the world. This is me expressing love to all communities, also me trying to push what I can do um, and use all my uh, skill sets to create an illustrations that portray beauty of um, nature crossed with the beauty of different cultures around the world. This is also me saying that all cultures are beautiful. All cult everyone is loved and everybody ha um, is just wonderful. So yeah, so that's my two cents to what's going on around the world. And I hope that everybody should just be accepting of everybody else. The title Moth to the Flame is taken from um, the design that I thought that, because when I first thought about this idea, I was thinking a moth, I just want to study a moth and it should be kind of cool to, um, bring him into a, a girl's portrait and the idea and the concept actually came from Remiel Zabulao, a colored pencil artist and illustrator from the Philippines and also one of my good friends. He is, um, he's wonderful. He has unique, uh, a unique point of view that I really love. So um, I will link you to his art down below and you should be check him out he's amazing as well so the why moth to a flame why this indian bride is because of this picture actually expresses love there are two sides of love that i want to express here it is first of all the pure love and the passion of the bride um who is getting married who is just full of love and excited to find the love of his, her life and she is my picture of pure love in a sense and she is someone passionate the flame actually represents love and she is and passion so that's another thing and the moth actually represents somebody who is dangerously in love because when you say moth to flame it is a blind love kind of love he, they are so drawn to the flame that they don't even know that their wings are actually getting burned or they're getting hurt or they're dying so that is another kind of obsessive kind of love that i i just um thought that would fit this picture well um, I also chose the Indian girl because I think Indian culture is beautiful. Indian clothing in particular is exquisite and the designs are sweet. Plus, they also match this painting really well. well. And this is my special shout out to all my friends and followers who are Indian. It seems that I'm getting a lot of love from that side of the world and I have a lot of good friends, a lot of mentees, a lot of the people who have been interacting with me and liking my art and um, asking me to help them are mostly Indian folk. Um, so thank you very much to everybody and I hope that this shout out expresses my love and thanks to you guys who always encourage me to do better and to do more with my art. Um, so this is my love letter to you guys dedicated to all my Indian friends. All right, there's also a lot of techniques that I've used in this, um, in this painting. First of all, I am using a lot of contrast, contrast in value and and colors so i'm really using the brightness of the light of 
of the flame plus the darkness of the black around her and then her hair is really dark and her eyes are really dark and her her clothing is really bright i wanted to bring those contrasts out because um if you look at a picture the first thing you look at is the highest point of contrast and that i think will help bring out what you want in a painting and i want to focus your eyes on the lady on the girl so she's the brightest part of the painting and yes so thank you Rania <laughs> for this wonderful idea I am enjoying it as well actually painting and drawing the moth was very challenging they have really 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 um, detailed wings so I have I was having a hard time kind of figuring out where everything was this is also the first time with where i did my june bug illustration for two days i usually do it just in a night about two hours every night or at most three or four three or four hours but never two days it never took me two days to do this but i was so that ded dedicated to the concept and I wanted to show that, um, to push this concept and see how far I can go with the details of everything else. That I really want to um, uh, make it worth it. And I really wanted to um, kind of push myself to the limits, as I said before. Um, there, I have been practicing portraits a lot. And so yeah uh, and I'm hoping that I am improving in the portrait um, in the portraits I'm also using a lot of green to mute the reds um, that I am using and kind of darken it if uh, darken it while uh, and to soften it I guess another contrast that I used here is the contrast of themes wherein I use innocent and pure love as the themes for this um, painting and I think I portrayed it well did I can you let me know in the comments if I actually did um, my challenges to this painting was the patient to create the designs on the dress and to render all the jewels and the designs properly yeah so actually I have a confession to make towards the end of the video this um, painting I was losing my steam because I really just don't want to get her out because she was actually looking really good the skin was looking really fine and so I really just wanted to finish everything so I kind of did um, uh, kind of did a shortcut but you'll see it later but it still looks pretty good for a, a painting that is on a sketchbook actually my problem was also that I was drawing this really small so my um, brushes that I've been using were um, were really small and hard to control and I don't also don't think too much that the details would matter in such a small painting so I was th uh, that's another bad thing about it is that I was assuming that since it's so small they won't see anything in some cases that's fine but um in other cases as well you just can't um you can't half ass anything and yeah but i am pretty proud of this piece it's one of the more detailed pieces i've done i really like how her skin is um glowing and yeah so um actually this part 
what happened here. Anyway, the audio got cut off for some reason, but then here I am again. This is actually day two of this Moth to a Flame um, drawing that I am doing. And Moth to a Flame is actually doing pretty, pretty well. We are actually now painting the Zari red, or half painted the Zari red. And I am actually trying to detail now the parts of the Zari that needs to be detailed. The thing about this piece is that there are so many minute details that I was really struggling to push and push to the finish to actually include a lot of the design. I have researched a lot of Zari designs and I was thinking what could be the most simplest one that has the most impact. And it was really, really hard to choose because A, they're all beautiful, B, the, um, the Zari designs that I've, saw, I've seen and were just so complicated, there's so many details and so many little dots and designs that it scared me to, I mean scared the living daylights out of me literally. I was um, looking and running away from a lot of the designs that I've seen but I've seen this si these simple dotted designs kind of like small diamond designs on the dress that I really like because that I can do and then there was also hmm the design for the actual kind of shawl thing that they have where they are wearing it was, um, I mean, the research that I did, I was just amazed. I mean, the craftsmanship on, the, on these series are out of this world. So I really do love and believe that the um, Indian costume of Sari is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my life. I mean... I've seen kimonos and I know they, a lot of people say, oh, kimonos are just gorgeous. They are so beautiful. No, well, yes, they are in a different kind of way. But in the details that is going into these zaris, in the creation of the jewels and the, it's just breathtaking. They're out of this world. Now I've moved on to Mr. Moth. I actually lost the reference photo for Mr. Moth. So I had to find a moth that has a similar design to his wings. So I, this is me kind of finding um, and creating a moth that would actually fit the theme of the design. And luckily I found this really pretty orange moth. And he was so furry and cute that I really wanted to draw him again. And I would probably do it again in another piece. I am actually falling in love with these insects that I have been drawing. Particularly, um, I've been uh, wanting to redraw beetles. Yes, um, dragonflies. Definitely, I want to draw another dragonfly. Uh... Mantises. Mantises are amazing. Rango was so much fun to paint and draw. For those who are not in the know, <laughs> I named the piece, the um, mantis in the piece Mantis in Bloom, which is in day... Uh, what day was that? Well, in, in, anyway, one of the um, pictures in Junebug Illustrations, Rango because he looks like Rango. But you can actually see him um, during the, when I link you down below to the rest of the Junebug illustrations. Anyway, yeah, so these bugs have been interesting, to say the least, to do and paint. I also am really, really enjoying painting this girl, especially her hair especially 
since she is almost done and I was rushing to get finished so I can actually start another piece um, tomorrow, uh, the next day. I just want it over with for some odd reason. <laughs> I guess it's been overdue. I'm not really used to getting pieces done for two or three days, except if it was a surreal piece. Right now, um, you can see I did a boo-boo. I actually put black on her face, and you will see me struggle to try to um, recover the skin color. And thank God for gouache because gouache, I, with gouache, I can fix anything. And I'm really not afraid to um, re <laughs> to layer it down. Uh, so yeah, I'm still struggling, I'm still struggling. But yeah, with art, everything is problem solving and trying to put the thing that you want to see on paper. And there's a lot of times where you make boo-boos like I just did or you um, are trying to figure out um, things that you're you want to do and how to put um, 3d to 2d and that is a real challenge so um, to all artists out there you are all problem solvers. Each piece is a puzzle that you have to solve. So treat it as so. And I think you can actually do a lot with your art. Um, yeah, so aside from these June bugs, I just want to talk about what is going on with my studio and what's going to happen in the future well first of all i'm doing the june bugs to up my art style i mean to level up my art style and so i am trying to create these illustrations that will push my talents and my skills to the limit and i think it's a good idea on how to Find your own point of view is just to keep doing it over and over and over and over again as much as you can daily if you can and that is that um, pushes your body and your mind and your muscles to um, create in such a way that it is your original point of view so um, your original style and that is what I've been trying to do once I've got it down, I would, I could probably um, see that my style is going to be semi-realistic to realistic, and um, and I know that I will, I where I have to improve the points that I have to improve. Another thing that you have to do when you're trying to find your style is actually to analyze each body of work that you've done and find where you are lacking for me i know i am lacking in the part of clothing and yeah so and detailing and patience anyway for the future of this blog the future challenges that i will have are going to be a lot of anatomy a lot of plants landscapes i have to go back to them i have to go back to bark but first of all, I have to nail my art style down so I may do another portrait series. Not with bugs this time, maybe with flowers or maybe with um, animals this time. Just to push this kind of art style to the limit. I really want to thank everybody who has been supporting me through my art journey. And I know that uh, this is going to be just the start of something new. There's a lot of good things happening to Market Studios. I have had inquiries for children's book illustrations and other things. So I think it's time to level up not only my style, but also my work. 
If you like this video and my babbling, please give me a thumbs up. Click follow me on the social media. And thank you very much. Bye.